hello everyone so last day we have created our student information page where we have logged in a user or an admin if they logged in then they can see the student information from that page let's just log in first now if we go to our navigation bar we can see that um, there is our the name of the admin that just logged in so we will add a image here today beside that name so for that we will just use this one if someone did not set their user profile picture so for the first time we will use this one so let's just copy that image and let's go to our HD docs and then from there we will go to our admin side and inside the image folder we will paste that image and you can rename that image anything you want so here inside our admin table we will add another column here for our image so let's create a new column inside our admin table and then here we will name it as pic and here it will be character because it will hold the name of the picture and here we will give 100 as length and then save now you can see there is another column called pic and here we will add the picture name and whenever someone input this information because they want to register or something so they will we will give that image name as input too so here we will go to our admin page and let's go to our registration page here inside our registration page we will go to our PSP portion and here where we have written our insert query here we have given the values and values of all the columns here you can see so we have added another column after the contact so we will write it here after contact we will give a comma and then one space and here we will insert the image name here that we want to save inside our database table so here we will give a single quotation and inside that single quotation we need to give the image name and for that we need to check if that is a jpg or png file so my picture name was p and it was a jpg file so we, i will write it here like this now if someone register this value will be inserted so let's see if that works or not here inside our let's log out first and then let's go to sign up okay and then here we will give the information and as you know our id was automatically incremented so we don't need to give any input for id we just need to give the other informations and for the image we don't need to give anything we have also given the information inside our query directly so if we browse you can see that there will be a new user with the picture name yes you can see that p.jpg that information is also saved so now we can just fetch this information from our website and we can use this image name inside our website and that's how we will actually show that profile picture so let's just do one thing we need to write this image name in other two admin information too because we have not added this feature before so let's just modify them i will show you how you can write update query so that you can if you need anything in future you can use this update query so we need to just update the picture column and if we write update the table name then set picture and then we need to give a value after the picture so here we will give our value we need to write it inside a quotation mark because this is a character type input that we are giving you need to write your image name so mine was p.jpg you need to write your picture name you can find it anywhere and if you write the when where one then all of this picture will be updated by the value you have given and if you want one of them then you need to write a where condition here 
so let's say i will just change the one with id 1 so here i will write update admin set picture equal to p.jpg where id equal to then inside single quotation id number i will give one you will see only the person with id number one will be changed and you will see the image name in his picture yes you can see that and now we will change this id2 information to here we will just paste our previous code and then we will change our id name id number there we will give two and you will see the other one will also have the image name okay now you can see that and for now we will whenever someone register they can actually use uh, show this picture but but if they want to change it we will later change it inside their profile page we will make a profile page and there we will and uh, give them an option for edit the image so now let's go to our admin login page the registration part is done so here after someone actually login let's go to our php part here you can see that whenever someone try to login we check their username and password whatever the user give input inside our form so whenever they match this we can actually get all the information of that user because we have give an asterisk mark or a star mark here so if someone's username and password matches we can get their picture name too from that query so we don't need to write any other new query we will use this query to get that picture information and we will make a session variable letter by using this so here we will start a new variable called dollar sign row and here we will fetch the information from that query so here we will write mysql i underscore fetch underscore asoc you know we have already used this many times so let's just write it again mysql i fetch asoc and then inside first bracket we need to write the variable name where we have written our run our query so here dollar sign result so by this what is happening we are getting all the information from the query that we have written in our dollar sign result variable that means we are getting every columns information from of that person whose username and password will be given inside the form and if someone actually someone's value does not match they will get a error message here and if that doesn't happen that means inside this else let's write a comment so we can understand it clearly whenever we are here if username and password matches then also we will create our session variable and if it does not match we don't need to do anything we just show a message that these values are not matching so here after the session variable of our username now we will create another session variable for our image so here dollar sign underscore session and then inside third bracket there is a single quotation and inside this we will give it a name let's say pick or you can give it anything any other name too and here we need to use this row variable to fetch our image so here we will use this you can see that um, before we have used our dollar sign underscore post because that username was from the form that the user will input so we wrote it like that but for now we need to write it dollar sign row and here our column name is pick and whatever the column name you have given you need to write the name exactly like that inside this row variable so we just need to give this variable inside our se session variable and by this we can now use this variable where, wherever we have written our session start function inside our navigation page you can see we have written our session start function so we can use that variable inside this page too so here we have written welcome our username so before this we will add that image of our user whatever is saved inside our 
table inside the database so let's just delete this welcome part because we don't need to show that we will just show that profile picture and then the name of the person who is logged in right now so after this we will just echo and then here we need to write an HTML inside our PHP that will be our image tag okay let's me let me just write it outside this and paste it here this is our HTML tag image and we will just write it inside our PHP code and we will echo that out so what we need to do we need to give a second quotation in both side of this image tag and then we need to give a semicolon and here inside that image there is a source and here we need to give our image name but as we are writing this inside a PHP inside a PHP code so we need to write single quotation instead of double quotation now inside this we will give our image name and you can see that the image is saved inside another folder that is called images so we need to write the folder name first and if the image was not inside any folder then we don't need to use this folder name okay now let's see after the backslash here we need to give a double quotation and inside this double quotation we need to give two full stop and now in between these two full stop or two dot we need to just give that session variable that's how you need to write you can pause the video and you can see that how we have written it okay now we don't need to give any space here that's how we need to write our image tag inside our echo inside a PHP tag so now we will just add some class name here we will add some bootstrap class so we need to just write class and then give this class name we don't need to style them and if you want to style them still you can do that now here inside the class and there again we need to use single quotation instead of double quotation as we are writing inside a PHP tag and here we need to give the class name that will be image and we will write IMJ sorry IMG and then a dash and then circle and another class we will use that will be profile underscore image and we need to write it in a short form IMG write the class name exactly like how we have I have written here because we are using already a defined class in our bootstrap so we cannot change the name and let's log in again okay now you can see that the name and a profile picture here we just need to change the size of the profile picture so that it doesn't look this big let's change this and if we want to change the size inside a PHP and they are inside that we are using a HTML tag so we just need to write like this height equal to 50 and then white equal to let's say 50 remember if we read that uh, write the styling inside a HTML tag we need to write it like style equal to inside the second quotation we need to give them but inside the PHP we can write it like this let's just remove the size a bit more 30 will be alright now okay now this is alright we just need a space between the name and the image so for that we will just write it inside before the name we will just add a space here we need to give a space between a single double quotation and then a dot and then the variable okay 
you can pause the video and you can check that out now we can see there is a space and if we give more space it will not actually be affected it will only show that one space here so so we will just keep it one space okay and that's how we are actually using our uh, image here and by this session variable we will rather change the profile pic profile picture we will use it inside our student profile too so if admin click on this they can go to a student profile and can see the student picture and email and other information from there thank you